just in 10 minutes we are going to discuss about building a paginated report from power bi data set if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe In the previous video, JTM 15, we saw the creation of a basic paginated report from a SQL Server database. If paginated reports are new for you, please check JTM 15 video to get an idea about what they are and why you should learn them. In this video, we will see how to acquire data from Power BI data sets. That may lead to a question. What is the advantage while you use a data set to create a paginated report? Assume that you have two different users, one of them viewing the Power BI report as it is and the other needs the paginated report. When you create the paginated report from the data set of a published report, the data in both the Power BI report and the paginated report will be identical. Whenever the published Power BI report is updated, the paginated report is automatically updated as it sends a query to the data set when you run the report. This is one of the advantages of using a data set as a source for a paginated report. Alright Raja, tell me what is the task that you are going to handle now. I have a Power BI report with a matrix and a donut chart. I want to create a similar report using a report builder. I want to create a parameter with my zone values. As can be seen from the donut chart in this image, I have six zone values. This is my first task. I want to create a parameter. And we saw creating parameters while we brought the data from a SQL server in JTM 15 video, just to remind you about that. And the second task, for obvious reasons, I need a full page printout of the matrix visual with all the state names visible along with the rest of the details. I also need the donut chart in the second page. So these are the two tasks that I am going to demonstrate and you will be able to quickly do the same in your data also. Alright, let us now dive into action. I have a Power BI report file kept open in my screen. As you can see, there is a matrix visual showing the names of the states and then their sales value according to the category values. The only problem here is to see all the states I have to scroll up or down. The reason for thinking about creating a paginated report is I will be able to see the names of all the states in a single page as that is one of the requirements for my organization. I have created a simple measure to calculate the order value from the fact table and that measure is parked inside a parking table called measure table. I do have a donut visual showing the order value according to the zones. So what is our task now? We need to publish this report into my Power BI services. And then I need to create a paginated report from the data set from my Power BI services. And then I will be able to create a matrix to show all the state names along with the values in a single sheet of paper. Okay, cool. I'm going to save the file. I'm going to hit the home tab to publish this to my Power BI services. And I would like to save this in my YouTube samples workspace. And the publishing activity is now going on. Okay, the report is now published to my Power BI services. I am in my Power BI services workspace called YouTube samples. I'm able to see JTM 16 sample report page as well as JTM 16 data set here. When I open the report page, I will be able to see a similar report which I saw in the desktop. Let me now open my Power BI report builder and I prefer to create a blank report. The data source is going to be fetched from my Power BI data set. So I am going to use this particular option. I would like to choose my workspace called YouTube samples. And then I would like to choose JTM 16 sample data set. So now the data source has been identified. Let me now try to create a data set 
from the data source called JTM16 sample that is now available in my Power BI services. And let me use the query designer to build a query. The query designer is now showing me whatever things are available in the Power BI data set, including the measures. I will certainly need the measure. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to execute the query. So this is one of the data set values that I may need to build the paginated report. Probably I may require a couple of more information such as the name of the categories, name of the segments, name of the state as well as the zone. And probably from the fact table, I may need the order date, I may need the order number and so on. So I have just created a few components that can be called as your data sets, which will be coming to the data set part. You are going to see that in a few seconds. Before that, let me speak about creating a parameter, which is one of the important requirements. So when you look at this area called select dimensions, I will be able to understand about my dimension state table. To make things clear, let me open the Excel sheet holding the source data. And I have a table called states in which zone wise information are available. These are the zones that I have. If I'm going to untick this, you will be able to see. I'm going to select everything. Then you'll be able to see that all the states are visible in the screen. However, they can be filtered as per the zone that I am going to choose. So the idea of creating a parameter, if I have an hierarchy in my model, then that can be selected. So zone is the topmost hierarchy in the state dimension table. And what I want to do is I want to get a zone that is equal to I may need either one of them. So I'm going to use an option called all at this point of time. Let me click OK. And the most important thing, there is an option called a parameter. I need to switch this on by checking this box and then I can click OK. So the query is now getting created for me with whatever values I have chosen from the model and I can click OK. Let me click on the view tab to open my parameters to see whether I have the zone parameter available here. Yes, it is available here. I would like to also show you that in the data set area, you will be able to see whatever things we brought as a data set are available and we have just created a parameter. All right, let me create the report now. I have created a title, I have inserted an image and in the footer area, if I want, I can also bring information from the built-in fields. For example, I can use user ID to be shown in the report. Maybe I can make some finer adjustments to accommodate this in the report. Our intention is to show a matrix visual in the paginated report. So let me click on insert matrix, insert matrix and let me draw a matrix visual. Now you can see that there are three areas, row area, column area and value area where the data is to be popped up. So I'm going to use my data set in which states are to be used in the row area. And for the column area, I want the category items. And for the data area, I'm going to use the measure I have created named as order value. Let me now click on the run option to see how this report is going to be populated. I can see the zone parameter readily available. I need to select up all of them or I can choose any one of the zones that I want to see in a report. Let me choose all, click view report. And in a moment, I'm able to see the data as expected, the names of the states and then the category of the items. Unfortunately, I don't get a total here. Our intention is to create a report similar to what you now see in the Power BI regular report. Probably I may have to make some adjustments. First thing I need to increase the width for the state column so that the names of the states can be accommodated in a single line. And then I may need a total both for the columns and the rows. I don't see a total somewhere here. Let me do that quickly by going back to my design option. The first thing I need to do is slightly increase the width of the state column. And then I'm going to right click here to insert a column outside the group towards my right in which I want to get the order value once again. 
and then i will click on this cell where the original data component is residing click there would like to say insert a row outside the group and below the existing row would like to get the total once again i can call this as a total maybe i can call this information also as total i can choose the cells and then i can make adjustments in terms of the font color font size and so on currently all the three cells i have selected are holding arial font 10 point size i can make it slightly larger let me make it as 14 and then let me make it bold similarly i can choose the total value here and also ensure that that is also given an option called the bold let me run this report now i could see the value total here is bold and in the last row i could see total and the font size is increased owing to which the width is insufficient maybe i can reduce the font size to 12 or i can increase the width of this particular column as a next step i need to create a donut chart so let me click on insert then chart insert chart let me just draw a chart in the available space over there choose an donut chart click okay and this needs information and i want to create a zone wise information so i just bring the zone information to the chart and for the values area i am going to pull the order value when i look at the size of the chart which i am able to see from the properties window the width and the height are somewhere around 42 mm and 26 mm i am going to change it to 150 by 150 and then from the chart i am going to use an option called show data labels and for these data labels i would like to provide a background color of white let me run this report now and show you the final output this is the final output i can see in the report builder screen i have a matrix in which i will be able to see all the state names in a single page along with the category wise values along with the totals for the rows and columns and the donut chart now i can export this document as a pdf document in the name called jtm 16 sample and when i open the pdf document you can see it contains two pages in the first page as expected i have the matrix visual with all the state names and the values and in the second page i could see the donut chart the footer also contains the name of the user who has created this report at what date and what time let me quickly show you the purpose of this parameter in case if i am going to choose only south and then ask for the report i will be able to see the states only for the south zone in which case this donut chart makes no sense it's okay i just wanted to show you how the parameter option is working and the moment i choose select all back to pavilion all the state names will be appearing and this chart now makes sense so that is the end of this demonstration let us quickly sum up what we have seen in this video this video is just another introduction to paginated reports we have created a paginated report from a power bi dataset which will always get the current data from the dataset at the runtime and that is an advantage creating a parameter is simple if your model contains required hierarchies we plan to upload few more videos on paginated reports please stay tuned thanks for watching this video see you in the next video